Finally tonight, it's Good Deeds, and it's all about a charity that combines mental health and bees. Hi, I'm Ali. I started Bees and Refugees. Bees and Refugees offers beekeeping as therapy to refugees and local communities. I grew up in Syria. My father ran a knitwear factory. I ended up studying fashion design to support and help uh, improve the business. We had a very nice, normal life. Well, until that uh, changed in 2011. <sighs> the Arab Spring started and the regime sent the army to the streets and they started shooting on people. My family got involved in supporting a couple of cities that were besieged by the army and that led to the government burning down our factories and our, our home. We were left with nothing, basically. I got a job offer in Egypt and it was like literally carrying my bag and leaving the next day. I spent almost a year there until they started arresting any Syrian who was wanted by the Syrian government and they were sending them back to Syria. I was arrested. Luckily, I was granted asylum in the UK. I got a job in Harrods while also I was volunteering in refugee camps. Uh, at the same time, seeing both extreme worlds uh, affected my mental health dramatically. I needed a way out eventually, and I found that in beekeeping. My grandfather introduced me to beekeeping on his farm. Bees work together, they strive for unity, and like the way they operate uh, as one, it it's, was fascinating always. I felt how bees were helping me a lot, and then I could help others who were struggling and going through the same. I started offering free beekeeping workshops to refugees. The war started in Syria. The situation was very difficult. We left everything. When I came to UK, I feel homesick. To be honest, uh, this is the first time I feel happy after I left Syria 10 years ago. I was introduced to the coordinator at the Red Cross who was interested in the project. A lot of young people that we work with, they, they came here by themselves. Most of them are under 18. And they've been through lots of horrible, traumatic experience back in their country, but also throughout the journey, and suffer from all kind of um, post-traumatic stress disorder. A big thing is to provide a safe space for young people to connect with other people who had been through the same thing. I think it's a really brilliant initiative. Refugees are still going through a lot. However, if we get stuck in that mentality, we will achieve nothing, and this is not how I was raised. What I want to achieve is eventually a network of trained refugees who are using beekeeping either as therapy or as a source of income. We hope people keep supporting the project.